Hello YouTubers, today I'm gonna blow my blow some speakers I got here, some cheapy speakers. Testing out my new power supply that I made. There you go YouTubers, a new power supply. All in one. I just use AC adapters, those, the common AC adapters that you plug into the wall outlet there. But I got something special here for this power supply. Not that long ago, I got a pencil sharpener from school that a teacher threw away. It was a cheap Staples pencil sharpener. But when I took it apart, I discovered a 36 volt AC transformer, which is in this power supply. And this is the plug it's plugged into. I'm gonna test 36 volts AC on the speaker here and I have the voice coil out and exposed because you know it gets some more smoke that way because you know we have to have smoke sometimes just to have some fun so here you go there you go So the speaker's blown, but I don't think it didn't blow all the way. Woo, stinks. So I'm gonna try it on 15 volts AC now. There we go, got a pop right there on 15 volts. So now, I'm gonna switch to the other speaker. Don't mind the dogs barking across the street. very much but there was a time I freaking blew a TV speaker on just 15 volts AC and like in two seconds it was up in flames a TV speaker and it was out of a this adapter I need that I used for that speaker was a computer speaker adapter hard and card on computer speaker adapter just made specifically for those speakers but it blew up in flames I wish I could have got that for you on video but yeah so now this time instead of having the voice coil exposed I'm gonna it's gonna buzz I don't know what kind of buzz it'll put through but the same thing like plugging the speaker into the wall outlet but I don't do that because it's kind of risky that way maybe when I'm old enough I'll eventually think about doing it so now back to 36 volts AC I'm gonna plug it in and here you go there's some stuff flying out of there Starting to smell. Probably doesn't have enough amps. So, let me test it on 15 volts now. There we go. That's the process of blowing. There we go, right on the camera too, and towards me. Ooh, stinks. And now, to show you, goes a Christmas light bulb here. As you see, it's kind of already burnt, because this, that transformer puts out so much power to this. And it's one of those big filament Christmas light bulbs too. So now, I'm going to unplug safety first, because I don't want to get zapped. And we're going to pop this bulb. 
I just want to show you how bright it is on <laughs> 36 volts because it was pretty bright. And after like probably like two minutes, this bulb will pop. It'll just go out and be all black. I'm gonna wrap this around the blue recycling bin. Throwing it where I'm at, I'm in the side yard. But this is uh, usually my spot where I usually blow stuff sometimes. Sometimes I'll do it in the backyard. So I'm gonna hook it back up and sorry about that. Here I'm gonna stick it in the dumpster like that. Let the bulb sticking out. So here we go. Here goes that Christmas light bulb right there. And those are just kids down the street if you're wondering. Here we go. Piece of dust on that. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty bright. It's gonna pop in like probably like a minute or so. Or less. Because these is this is a big filament version of a Christmas light bulb. Not the tiny ones. That adapter, wow. Does a good job at burning up bulbs. There we go. Look how black that is now. And I saw some smoke coming off that bulb too. Did you see that? And I certainly saw smoke. Look at that, YouTubers. That's how much that that's how much that transformer puts out. It'll pop these bulbs. Look at how black that is. Wow. For a big filament bulb. Well, that's everything I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And have a good day.